It's time now to start to take a look at some of the what if analysis tools available in Excel. And you'll find the what if analysis tools on the data tab all the way over in the forecast group. And if we click the drop down, you can see the different tools that we have access to. And we're going to be talking about all of these in this section. Now we're going to start out with Goal Seek. So what exactly is Goal Seek? Well, you can see there in the screen tip, it says find the right input for the value that you want. So what exactly does that mean? Well, the way that I see Goal Seek is that we work backwards from a value and our inputs modify accordingly. Now, that's a little bit difficult to get your head around unless you actually see an example. So let's take a look at a very basic example, first of all. Now, similar to the last lesson, we want to calculate a payment on a loan. Now, this time we're borrowing $24,000 to buy a car. We're borrowing it over 60 months and the interest rate, and this is a per annum interest rate, is 3.5%. Now, the first thing we need to do here is we need to use the PMT function to calculate how much we're going to be paying each month. So we saw how to do this in the last lesson. We're going to say PMT. Our rate is the first argument. Now, the rate is 3.5%, but remember, this is a yearly rate. It's per annum. And we want to work out what our monthly payments are going to be. So to get the correct interest rate, we need to take this value and divide it by... 12, comma, number of payments. Now, I do have the number of payments written out in months here, 60 months, which is basically five years. So we can just select the cell, comma. What's the present value? Well, the present value of the loan is 24,000. Now, in this case, we don't need the final two arguments. We're just going to close the bracket and hit enter. And again, you can see that this value is showing as a negative. Now, as I mentioned before, you can just add a minus into the formula. You can put it at the start or you can put it in front of the PV argument. So I'm going to put mine just here to make that a positive value. And I'm going to change this to accounting format. So I can now see that each month I'm going to be making a payment of $436.60. All good so far. Now, what about if I get this documentation through and I see the payments that I'm going to be making? Maybe I think to myself, well, you know what? I can actually afford to pay $500 a month. So maybe I'm interested in knowing how much more I could borrow if I'm paying $500 a month. Or maybe I'm interested in seeing what the interest rate is going to be if I'm paying $500 a month. Or maybe I want to see how many months I'm going to be paying this loan over if I'm paying a little bit more. We can use Goal Seek to help us calculate this. And it really depends which one of these you want to reduce because you're paying more. So let's say I've got my eyes on a more expensive car. So if I'm paying $500 a month, how much more could I borrow from the bank? Well, I'm going to click in the payment cell. Let's go back to the data tab and we're going to choose goal seek. Now we have three values that we need to enter here. The first one is set cell. So I'm going to say set cell B6 to the value of 500. And then we need to tell it which cell we want to change. So if I wanted to change the interest rate, I would select that cell. We want to change the loan amount. So we're going to select this cell just here. And when we click on OK, you can see it readjusts those calculations. So now if I'm paying $500, I can see that I can actually borrow 27485 So that's the premise behind Goal Seek. Let's take a look at another more complicated example. Now, here I have a data set that just lists out some employee names, their salary, their job rating, and their new salary after they've all received a bonus of 2.7%. And you can see I have 2.7% written out in cell L3. Now, if I press control down arrow to get to the bottom of the new salary row, you can see that this is the total amount for all of the salaries added together, including that bonus amount. And maybe the budget for staff salaries is actually a little bit more. So we've got two and a half million up here. So maybe I want to have all of the staff salaries equal to 2.5 million. And I want that in turn to increase the amount they're getting paid as a bonus. We can use Goal Seek to help us with this. 
So let's jump to the bottom. We're going to select the total cell. We're going to go into what if analysis and goal seek. So we're going to say set cell H52 and the value is going to be 25001.23. And we're going to do that by changing cell L3. Let's click on OK. So now if we jump to the bottom, we should find that all of the staff salaries are equal to 2.5 million and the percentage of bonus has increased to 6.2% and all of the calculations in column I have updated accordingly. So those are a couple of examples of how you could use Goal Seek. Have a little play around with it. It's a really fun little function. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.